Today is August 2nd, 2014, and that marks the seven year anniversary of when I created this channel, Disguy 4. With it being the seven year anniversary of when I created this channel, I thought I'd go ahead and do a special review of sorts. Here we have my absolute favorite figure that I've ever owned, the Deluxe Class Generations Drift figure. Now as you can see, he is a sporty vehicle of sorts. I'm not exactly what kind of vehicle he is, but he looks excellent in my opinion. It is all white over the body with these uh, red stripes on the sides and here on the hood section. He does also have these Japanese characters on the side. If I understand correctly, it says Samurai. He has these clear windows, but on the back they're painted, which is a little odd, but doesn't really bug me all that much. Yeah, I mean, he, he has a lot of great detailing and he just looks really great. He also has this weapon storage on the bottom, much like his Age of Extinction counterpart, which, uh, which is really nifty. He also rolls incredibly well, I mean, better than most and from what I can remember or in my experience and uh, it feels it feels good I guess it rolls really smoothly now for his transformation we can go ahead and start off by popping out the doors you can also remove his sword you I guess you can leave it in but I'll go ahead and remove that for now Next, we will separate the top section right here. We'll just pull away at the sides and separate it at the top. Lift these panels up and over. Next, we'll grab the entire back section right here and fold that down. And these will form the legs. Separate that. Grab these sections right here, and with the hinge in there, it has this interesting motion where you can fold that up and then down, and that will form the leg. Next, we will move these to the side, flip out these handles right here, which will be his smaller swords. Folding up those handles will allow us to fold in the windows right here. And these will form his sheaths for his swords, his weapon storage. Next, we will fold these back and out. and fold down the arms. Lastly, you'll want to make sure that you get this windshield section right here and put that peg into a hole here in his chest. And with my experience, it normally snaps in. Some people say that it doesn't fit in correctly Mine has always seemed to snap in perfectly fine. And there we have Drift in his robot mode. You can go ahead and take his sword here with Japanese characters along its edges that say Peerless Under Heaven or something of that nature. And you can either store it on his back like we did in vehicle mode the same clip which can also um you can fold that out and i'm guessing that's to allow you to store the body further out from the back which would allow for more dynamic artic uh, articulation with the legs while the sword is stored there but i go ahead and just uh, have him wield his sword and it's really great because with all the articulation in the figure, which is quite extensive, and the long handle of his katana, katana, uh, you can have him 
wield the sword with both hands. You will also notice that too. Uh, it's a little curved. It is made of this softer, rubbery plastic, which is kind of annoying because it allows for the sword to warp over time. And as, as we saw mentioned, you can pull out these swords and have him wield that too. But for the most part, I just have him keep those in his sheaths. For a real quick size comparison, we can go ahead and pull out his Age of Extinction counterpart. As you can see, he's much taller and they are quite different, while at the same time being somewhat similar. It's, I, really, I really love the character. I know many don't like him from Drift, from his IDW incarnation, but I, I'm a fan. Not of the comics necessarily, but of the character. There you have it. This has been the video review for Generations Deluxe Class Autobot Drifts.